888-525-0850. You call phone folks, you're welcome to join us. Again, 888-525-0850 or 375-0850. Nick in South Boston. Nick, good evening. You're on Sports Radio WEI. Hey, Ted. Nick, how's it going? Good first time call. Okay. Thank you very much, Nick. Nice to hear from you. Yeah, I just, uh, before I get to my subject, I want to ask you a little question about, uh, was Brian Tom back here, replacement player in 95? That, that has come up, and, and there's been no, there's no indication of that in the Red Sox media guide. I tried to look I, it up yes, online. he's not in the union. We, we, we had heard that he was participating in spring training yeah. games when that particular lockout was occurring, but he never participated in a regular season game. Mm. Apparently, he was not in the union and played in some spring training games, but do you refer to him as a strike breaker if he never actually played in any, uh, and of course the, you know, the, uh, the lockout didn't continue. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not sure necessarily how you would characterize him. I guess technically he did cross because he played as a replacement player in spring training games. Yeah. Although, as I say, you look in the media guide and there's no, you know, there's, there's obviously no mention of it. Yeah, I mean, I don't really value the uh, Players Association as a, a legitimate union. No, I don't, I don't think they're in any way, shape, or form connected to the unions that, uh, that, 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 that we're uh, cognizant of. Right, right. I mean, anyway, I, will, uh, I had this uh, report on the internet. I was doing some uh, surfing uh, today. And uh, there's a... Uh, a gr uh, interest, some interest from a group, uh, an owner's uh, group in the Red Sox, from uh, Nick Nolte and a few different other uh, actors. God, I'd hate that. You know, Nick Nolte, I'd rather you put together a bunch of your, your friends from South Boston than Nick Nolte and a bunch of actors. Now. I know. Did you ever see The Thin Red Line? Uh, I did not see that. Was that any good? I don't know. I find it kind of... Uh, I mean, I, 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 I think the, the, the one Nick Nolte movie I remember was The, was the Deep, but... To have a group of Hollywood phonies by the Red Sox would uh, would, would would make me sick. Yeah, you see that movie with uh, Nick Nolte and Shaq O'Neal and uh, Anthony? And, no, I, did, I, I saw you know I saw some uh, some previews of that, but uh, I, I did not see that one either. Nolte has not actually uh, distinguished himself, and you know you're going to hear some rumors with the with the with the Red Sox uh, stadium situation up in the air. My hope is that if the club is going to be sold to somebody with deep pockets, right. it's sold to some, some people with local connections and local yeah. ties who have an appreciation for the uh, for the franchise, or, or a corporation based in Boston, maybe a Hancock or a, or a Gillette, and uh, some, uh, some of these leagues bar corporate uh, ownership of teams, but I mean, to me, it's going to have to be somebody with gigantic pockets, and I think that, that the time has, has come for, the, for, for John Harrington and the club to make a decision. Either they take in some equity partners or they sell the team to some real deep pockets owners that can put a ton of money into this thing and then to go ahead and build the ballpark in a, in a real top-notch first-class fashion. I think that something has got to give on the financing for the new ballpark very, very shortly. Nice to hear from you, Nick. 888-525-0850. Hey, 